Hello and welcome back to Intentful Spaces. Today I'm working on the kids' spaces. I'm going to start off by decluttering their clothes and then I'll be doing a little bit of decluttering and organizing in the bedroom and decluttering and organizing their toys in the playroom and doing some deeper spring cleaning here in the bedroom as well. So I'm gonna start off with decluttering all these clothes. They are in between sizes and seasons. So it's time to pare this way down. So getting rid of all of the previous size they have now outgrown and all of the winter clothes that we no longer have a need for and they definitely will not be fitting in next year so gonna be pulling everything out of the drawers and going through every single thing that they've got the whole basket of clean laundry is here two overflowing baskets of clean laundry so it's gotten to the point where i just can't even fit it in the drawers anymore so we're gonna be going through that and taking care of the decluttering process so that i can get it all organized in the drawers in a way that actually fits So typically throughout the year when the kids outgrow a piece, I have an ongoing donation basket that I keep in the laundry room that I can just toss in there once it's washed and we can just bag it all up when it's full and take it onto donation. But it was kind of getting to where we were trying to stretch everything out to make it through the winter with the kids clothes before they had outgrown them. And now that that has come to a close, I knew it was gonna be a lot of stuff that I needed to kind of pull out of here. So I put it off and put it off just trying to get every last little bit of wear out of the clothes that I could and now it's time to just do a big purge of the clothing. So when the kids had started school, my mom took them school clothes shopping, and then they also still had what they already had before we did that. And then we had to get in some pieces for winter. And as they have outgrown some of the warmer clothes, we had been buying new pieces for this upcoming warm season. So there is just a way excessive amount of clothes here. And later on in the video, I did another load of laundry here and needed to get it put away after I cleaned the room. And it was such a simpler process with having so much less clothes in the drawer so it was just easier to just wash one basket of laundry fold one basket of laundry and put away one basket of laundry in drawers that were not overflowing so it definitely simplifies the process and makes me dread folding laundry a little bit less so here i slowed it down so that you could see in real time this is how slow the process was going so i know in these videos we can speed it up and edit it and it looks like it's happening so fast but this took quite a while to go through all this stuff so everything i'm throwing up on top of the dresser is stuff we are letting go of and once i went through it all i filled one bag of donation one trash bag full of donations and then one more trash bag full of just clothes that needed to go straight into the trash so with kids clothes a lot of it it just gets so used so there's a lot of stains and holes and the fabric is just so worn that it's not even practical to donate it obviously that's that's just at the end of its life cycle and time to go in the trash while i'm folding all this laundry i am pulling out the obvious things and throwing them on top of the dresser to get rid of but once i get everything folded and get to see everything all laid out i do go through it again and get rid of a whole bunch more this is a very tedious task that's definitely easy to put off and also it's very emotional like seeing all the clothes that the kids will no longer be wearing and acknowledging right there in front of your eyes how much they're really growing up.
So now that I've got it all folded and sorted and have gone through and pulled everything we're letting go of, I'm putting what we're keeping here in this basket so we can get it all put over here out of the way and that way it's all ready to be organized back into the drawers. Just kind of showing you what we've ended up keeping. And now I'm going to take all the stuff off the top of the dresser and get it put into this other laundry basket. And I'll go back through that later off camera and kind of sort through what ends up being trash and what ends up being donation. And it was just ending up being such a tedious process. I wish I would have got on camera filming how I separated it all out, but it was just with two kids here and trying to go through all these clothes. It was a lot and it was getting late and I just ended up doing it off camera real quick, but I do show you the bags here in a little while. So now I'm going to pull the stuff out of the closet and go through this as well and just kind of decide again what is going to go and what is going back in the closet that we're keeping and then I still have heaping piles of pajamas to go through also. At the point of filming this, we still had a few cold days ahead of us, but for the most part, they're behind us. So I did get rid of the bulk of the cold weather clothing, but I did have to hold on to just a few things for the last few remaining cold days that we had coming. So I will be going through there again and pulling probably about a Target's bag worth of uh, winter clothes out of there that they're no longer going to need like sweatpants that will be too short and stuff like that now that we are hitting triple digits literally already hitting 100 degrees here in Arizona saw it on my dash 100 degrees already but it sure is beautiful this time of year here in the desert in April everything is blooming and it is beautiful so now I'm going through the pajamas I knew there was quite a bit I was going to let go of out of here they just get so worn out so quick it's definitely easy to stretch the life of pajamas because they're just sleeping in them so it doesn't really matter how short the pants look when they are just in bed with them so definitely time to let go of some pajamas and now this is what we are keeping for the drawers and I just got a few little things left here I got to go through like the underwear and the socks and all the other miscellaneous items that end up stuffed into drawers and then I'm gonna get it all organized
So for the time being, Jackson and Jillian have been sharing a room in here again, which was a lot easier to do sharing this dresser when their clothes were a lot tinier. But now that they are so much bigger, they fill up the drawers a lot fuller, and it's definitely getting challenging to fit both kids' clothes in one dresser. So the top two drawers on each side they have for socks and underwear each, and then the bottom two drawers are their pajamas, and then the middle drawer is their shorts and pants. So just getting all of that arranged in there, and I like to put them in in sort of like the file-like system so that I can see everything instead of having them stacked on top of each other. And I now can fit everything in the drawer quite comfortably. Very satisfying to get this done. And you see I have a massive heaping full laundry basket full of clothes that we are getting rid of. So it is bittersweet to let it go as the kids are growing up, but it feels so good that they have served their purpose and now they are on their way out of my house. So this was the point where I separated off one bag is donation, one bag is trash. I got it really crammed in there. So these bags are heaping full. Feels so good to have that done. So now I will give you a peek of the drawers. Now that they are functioning so much better, definitely there's still a few things that need to be pulled out of there now that we are completely through our cold days. And I am definitely trying to be a lot more intentional with how much stuff is actually coming in and not getting inundated with too many clothes like that again. The closets aren't the most organized and definitely packed full of things and the closets being very fully used but the two kids are sharing this one closet and i'm thinking here pretty soon these this whole arrangement will be changing so the two of them have been sharing this bedroom since i think like november so they had always been sharing a room and then they had separate rooms for a while and then my oldest daughter moved back in so we put these two back together again and they actually enjoy sharing a room. Neither of them like to sleep alone, so they love sharing a room, but it is hard to fit everything all together in this one space. And they ended up pulling the curtain rod out of the wall that broke. So got a new rod coming in the mail, got that hung up, but I'm washing the curtains while they're down and just giving you a peek here. At the playroom situation, Jackson, between Christmas and his birthday, has ended up with so many superheroes and bots and cars that we need to go through that with a better organization system. I'm going to mostly leave this alone for now because I'll be going through that later in the near future. So I'm going to leave like all of Montessori style toys on the shelf, but I do need to go through all of Jackson's new toys. And I'm going to start here with the bedroom. This is Jillian's stuff. She loves to display all her things on her bookshelf and it gets rather messy. So she gets a little overwhelmed and doesn't know how to tackle it. So that's what we'll be doing together right now and getting it all organized, which is another reason why it was nice to have separate spaces for these two when all their stuff's not just getting completely mixed together. So my oldest is now, she is in the process of finding a new rental to live in. And it's definitely a challenging time for young adults to be starting out there in the world right now. I mean, it's pretty challenging for all of us, but especially just getting your feet wet for the first time. So I'm glad we've been able to support her in any way that we can and that she now feels prepared and ready to go out there and give it a go, but definitely wishing her luck in this whole endeavor.
Jillian never willingly gets rid of anything. She found my little trash bag and she feels she needs to go through it. And she's pulling out all the stuff she doesn't want to part with, like Valentine's Day cards she got from school, from friends, and all kinds of other little knickknacks that I thought was safe to throw away. But I usually include her in the process, but sometimes I just kind of want to, you know, not go through every single Valentine's card from her classroom. But Anyways, she pulled out what she needed to keep and she's definitely a hard one to declutter with. She likes all of her things and she wants to keep them always. So just finishing up with getting everything arranged here on the shelves for her. And at this point, she is completely over sorting and organizing and cleaning. And she's now using my phone to make some little videos for herself. She is my first messy child. So my oldest, she was messy, but she liked to clean. And then my next son, he did not like to clean, but he also wasn't messy. But Jillian is very messy and really does not like to clean up. She likes to help me with things. So as long as it's in the nature of helping me, she is definitely on board for a small duration of time. But she is definitely has a hard time with keeping her spaces tidy or cleaning up anything on her own, which is why I try to explain to her she didn't have so many knickknacks on the shelves, it would be easier to maintain. But she really likes her stuff. And I think she actually likes just having all the clutter around. It's like some people do. Um, it drives me nuts. But we got a little life and she needs to be comfortable in her space also. But she does really appreciate when it is all organized and cleaned up. She just doesn't like doing the process. So now that we got it all tidied, it's time to actually start cleaning the room. So I'm gonna get everything dusted and vacuumed and wipe down the blinds and windows. And I changed the sheets so regularly, I'm not even gonna mess with the bedding for today. Just gonna go ahead and straighten up the blankets and the pillows. And you see, I did take the tent bed off of Jillian's bed. Uh, she was done with it. She wants a big girl bed that's up off the floor. So we are going to be looking for that when we get her back into the other bedroom. So for now, we're just leaving it as a mattress on the floor and she wants her own little side table as well. So right now she's just using an upturned box. So we'll get around to doing her bedroom when we move her over there. But Jax is still very much enjoying his tent bed and the little bumpers he has on his mattress. He likes to kind of use them as a pillow and sleep in all kinds of wonky ways. So just leaving his bed as is. And now I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning off this dresser and getting everything all dusted and wiped down. It was very inconvenient timing when the curtain rod broke because there is room darkening curtains that we have and it was literally the time frame where the sun starts going down just around bedtime. So it's a really difficult maneuver trying to get two little ones to bed when it is still so sunny outside and the room is lit up completely like daylight. So it was very urgent to get that curtain rod ordered and replaced and then also hung up and the curtains back up so that I can make the room dark when it is time to get the kids to bed. We do not have daylight savings time here in Arizona, which I'm very glad we don't. From what I hear from everyone, it's like kind of a pain to have to just not only like shift your clocks, but also like shift your mentality around the time frame that it's in and trying to maneuver that with kids. So I'm glad we don't have daylight savings time. I am glad that it's the same time we run on all year, but it is kind of strange trying to get the kids to bed and it is so sunny outside. So now I'm just running the vacuum real quick and pretty much calling it a wrap on cleaning in this room. Like I said, I'll come back in and shampoo those carpets later, and then I'll be doing a little bit more of the deeper cleaning when I get Jillian moved back into the other room, because I'll like wipe down all like the baseboards and doors and walls and all that stuff. So now this is that one basket of laundry I was telling you. I just gotta get it folded real quick and get that all put away, and it's easy peasy because there isn't three baskets all piled up waiting to be put away because I've been putting it off.
it is so sweet that they still enjoy sharing a room together and I'm definitely soaking this time frame up while they're still this little and they are growing up so fast. They just had birthdays, so Jillian's now six, Jackson is now four and we're just wrapping up kindergarten and it's really you know bittersweet watching them grow up because it's sad as they're not so little anymore but it's also so exciting to see who they grow into so now it's time to tackle the playroom so jackson's been having some earaches and so he's not going to participate as much as i was intending on him participating as i'm going through all his toys here in a little bit so jillian's kind of burnt out on working on the bedroom and the agreement was jillian would help me with the room and Jax would help me with the playroom but like I said, his energy has been a little low battling the earaches. So I'm just going to take on this and he's going to rest and watch some shows for a little bit. But I do include the kids almost always in the cleaning up process because they make the mess and they need to participate in cleaning it up. That is just the way life is. And once in a while, I do need to go in, obviously, and clean things up a little bit more tediously than what they do. But I try to keep it simple. A few bins, a few boxes, a few baskets, and just, you know, put it all away. Just get it off the floor is my main objective. I'm not too finicky about everything getting sorted every time, but everything does have to have a place. And every once in a while, I like to just come in and get everything reset so that it's all organized again. And like I said, he got all of these new Christmas and birthday presents as well as Jillian. She got a whole bunch of new stuff also. So we need to figure out some new systems and homes. There's quite a few things I need to get rid of. And I got those two bins, the like boxes, the wood boxes from Target that stack up. I used to have some in the room and then I ended up pulling them into the pantry. So I got a couple more because I really like these, how it's like open storage, it stacks, it's simple and easy to put away. And I had all of his stuff into one basket, but every time he was looking for a particular car or a particular bot, he would just dump the entire basket to look for it so I figured at least this way it's sorted into two different categories and then he can easily kind of sift through the box and find what he's looking for instead of having to dump the entire thing so gonna work on this for a little while just fast forward it really quick to make quick work of it and then I'll be vacuuming in here like I said not gonna be doing too much with the Montessori toys just getting everything put back on the shelf and I'll be working on that at a later time I'm just mostly wanted to focus on all of their new stuff. So now that I got the playroom all tidied up, I've got all of Jackson's stuff grouped together right here. I've got my two wooden boxes and then one basket here that I'm going to sort everything into. So going to go ahead and make sure to dump out that little backpack. He packs up full of little robots, make sure everything's included. I end up grabbing one more basket for his larger toys, like his big Optimus Prime and his big Buzz Lightyear, all those bigger things I set aside. I use the rope basket for all of his like dress up costume stuff. And then one of the wooden boxes is gonna be for all his bots and cars and the other one for all of his action figures. I'm just setting aside a few of the toys that actually go into other baskets. Like he's got a bin for his um, Mr. Potato set. And then there's a couple little like, um, car kits like that the pieces interchange but they're like a set so i'm setting those aside so i can get like a small container to put those in since all the pieces need to be kept together so i'm just kind of pairing those off into sections that i'll just put into a plastic bag here in a little while until i can get a container for them highly recommend going through everything and decluttering and sorting before buying organizing containers so that you actually know what you need and i they make like smaller version of these wood boxes that i think would be perfect for those other ones that need to be kind of kept together so i'm going to just start kind of moving everything where they need to go and honing this all in and feels so good to now have an actual organizing system for all of his new big boy toys instead of just having them all dumped on the floor all the time because he dumps the bin every single time he's looking for something
So this is a bag I have for trash, just pulling all the pieces that I know are definitely trash, broken pieces and stuff like that. And then I'm just sorting out all these other little pieces that I think need to be attached to bots. So now that his toys are big boy toys, it comes with lots of little pieces that come off of all these robots. So I've got a little pile of that going. And then, like I said, those two bags I need to get a couple containers for. This basket, it's got just a handful of things in there. They're just really larger items that couldn't fit into the small one. And then all of his action figures are here. And then all of his bots and cars are down here. And he plays with every single one of them. He loves them all very, very much. So like I said, I just need to get some containers for those two bags full of toys. And then I'm thinking maybe even one more of these big wooden storage bins for all those larger toys that are in that basket, just to make it all look cohesive. Here's all the little pieces I think he wants to put back on his bot. So just setting those aside for now. This is my daughter's cat, Lotus. She is screwing out of the way because I'm coming in with the vacuum. This is the last thing I got going on in today's video. Like I said, I'll be shampooing the carpets all together later on in an upcoming video. But that is it for today. If you made it all the way here to the very end, leave me some kind of toy emoji in the comment section down below to let me know that you did. Make sure you're subscribed if you like cleaning motivation. I love to keep the motivation coming for you. And as always, thank you all so much for being here.